Virginia Tech will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting them in the backfield. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Here's an opening. He's to the 40. Tackle around the 45-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. their own 45-yard line. Second down. He's got it out to his tight end. He picks up a yard on the play. Doesn't look like this defense is going to let him beat him with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. Caught and a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. Impressive game there by the do-it-all back. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Around the 27 yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. This is the 11th play of this drive. He's taken down at the 10-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And he 
adds the extra point. A 13-play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hokies' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. First down, 10 to go. go All on the 42. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. To go. Run, run, run. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring us second to three. Six-yard line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Makes the grab and steps out right away. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instinct. From the 42 yard line, it's second down. The halfback with a carry. And he's tackled at the 43. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. inbounds and he hauls in a big one. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-0 Vanderbilt. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. on the run and they bring him down for a sack on the play he just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down boy excellent play by the defense here a few extra seconds and those receivers might have been open it's the ninth play of the drive He scrambled. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, Sets up the screen, tailback's got it, brought down at the five-yard line. He gets it up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Virginia Tech gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Vanderbilt is up four. And they make the stop around the 25-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. He gets sacked on the play. Third down. just to have the ball in his hands. By the time he knew what was going on, he bobbled it away. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Oh, what a hit. He showed a good burst there. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's at midfield. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. From the 38-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 27. That's a game of 11 on the day. First down. Right left, right left. Go down, go down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Take go. Pressured and brought down. That'll make it second and nine. So the sack makes this a second and long. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and he's got it. like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Vanderbilt with a one-point lead. Back's got it on the quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. Second down and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. Tackle made at 
the 25. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. Virginia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's tackled at the 24. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. At this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick pass, and he's tackled right away. Number 36 makes the tackle at the 31-yard line. And down he goes at the 39-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. There's a strike complete. He's down. That's a good six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He makes the catch and has a first down. Game of seven on the play. That makes it first and ten. Check, check, alert, alert, alert. Fires quick. He's got another one. Tackle at about the 39 yard line. Gain of nine yards. That makes it second and two. With the pass incomplete. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Got an opening. Gains his way to the 26 yard line. First down. Darts it to the left. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That makes it first and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. I got you, 88. I got you. Here we go. Here we go. 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 They'll bring him down at the one. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Virginia Tech can take the lead here with this field goal. And he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Up maybe five yards on the draw play. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second half offense. 9 7, Virginia Tech. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I love this first half. 
two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, Dave, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. And, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to the opponent's territory. He's tackled at the 38. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. Virginia Tech holds just a two-point lead. The half-back option good for seven yards. That's good for seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. First down. That's very frustrating for this defense. First and ten. Ball on the 50. Let's go. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Go. Check, check. Disco Raver. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings them second and five. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. He's taken down to the 38-yard line. But fumbles do happen. And you can chalk this turnover up to a very aggressive defense. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. The draw play gets maybe two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 36-yard line. He's in trouble. Slings it. They bring him down in the backfield. Number one takes him down behind the line. That'll make it third and nine. Come on! From their own 35-yard line. Third down. 
And he's taken down at the 42. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. And here's another third down. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. That brings up second and goal. Touchdown, Commodores! his second touchdown of the day. He's stepping up in a tight game. You need your playmakers to shine when it's a close ball game. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Vanderbilt holds a four-point lead. He scrambled. And they won't get the two. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets out to around the 38. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. Four down, four down. Eight's getting the ball here. Eight's getting the ball. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. to about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, third down. It's broken up. These guys were ready for the pass and played it well to come up with the deflection.
They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's out to the 30. Not a bad return. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Boy, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers <laughs> have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. So at the end of the third quarter, Vanderbilt leads it 13-9. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Vanderbilt is up by four. Zips it to the tight end. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. First down. six-yard line. It's first down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Gets out to around the 28. down now and they need to get it to the 26. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, 58 is the mic. Well, 58 is the mic. You don't want none. Ready. 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 This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is at some point you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Watch 36, 36 the mic. Tackle made at the 23. Once he saw it was a run, he made a great break on the ball and used his speed to make the big tackle. It's second and 12. Ball on the 23. Makes the grab past the marker. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. First down. Six-yard line. Second down. Less than three minutes in the game. They'll drop it for a loss. Nope. 
Gets it out quickly. It's on the ground. Picked up by the defense. And down he goes at the 44. You love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. at the 45-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 37. That makes it second and two. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He goes out of bounds, right around the 36-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he stopped behind the line. so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Gains his way to midfield. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. From the 50, first down. Run play, and he'll lose yards. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. He makes his way to about the 42. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Virginia Tech's out of timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. it away and this is a really nice punt this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback Virginia Tech's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation and there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations you know he's going to make the right read he's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball and they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game he lets it fly missed it Touching. 
that penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, there. with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. The penalty makes it second and 15. Fires it out. He's tackled at the 17 yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. down stop there late in the fourth quarter and that should do it i think they had to go for it given the circumstances they just couldn't pull it off the whistle hasn't sounded yet they still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes vanderbilt is up seven he looking to take some time off that clock That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.